From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. We'll start off in the tropics where things are expected to remain quiet over the next seven days. That according to the National Hurricane Center, but there is some indication that a few of these tropical waves coming off the African coast could develop into something. So that'll be something we'll continue to monitor, but the peak of hurricane season is September 10th with most activity occurring between mid-August and mid-October. So we are in the heart of hurricane season right now. You can kind of hear, see it on this graph that shows really the peak September 10th. And then once we get past September 10th, at least the frequency on average does decrease. We've had five named storms so far this season. Ernesto, our latest named storm that dissipated last week. And here are some of the tracks or not some of the tracks, all of the tracks for the 2024 season, at least so far. Back here at home, pretty quiet conditions, mainly sunny skies today. The heat and humidity will be the big story this week as they continue to build in. So stay hydrated this week because it is going to be pretty hot and humid. Over the weekend, we were in the mid to upper 80s, 89 degrees on Sunday. We haven't had any measurable rainfall at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport since Saturday the 17th when we did pick up three quarters of an inch of rain. Our records will be safe. 101 that was set just last year. 54 record low set in 1952 and you see the record rainfall set in 1995. Four and 72 hundredths of an inch. If you're suffering from seasonal allergies at this point, grasses and or weeds could be causing you some of those issues will be in this medium to high range. It looks like Monday, Tuesday. I will say Wednesday, Thursday pollen levels will be even higher as we do go through the rest of your Monday. Some showers and thunderstorms possible along the low country of South Carolina. We're expecting dry conditions for us even as we go into Tuesday. Tuesday morning, though, there may be a little bit of fog Tuesday afternoon, a good bit of sunshine. Some fog's going to be possible early Wednesday, and then as we get into Wednesday afternoon, we'll call it mainly sunny skies once again. Rainfall amounts a quarter to maybe a tenth of an inch. There could be some isolated areas that get a little bit more around the Midlands. Rain chances a little bit higher in the upstate. That'll be over the next seven days, and that according to the Weather Prediction Center. This is a European model showing basically dry conditions over the next few days. I will say the American model shows basically dry conditions, although we do expect at least a small chance for a pop-up shower or storm Friday, Saturday, with maybe a slightly better chance rain on Sunday. It looks like these humidity levels will be kind of in the higher range. Last week we had a little bit of a break because of the air was pretty dry, but humidity will continue to increase as we do move through the rest of your work week. Highs today, upper 80s, low 90s, pretty close to normal for this time. The air lows tonight dropping down into the upper 60s to near 70 degrees, which is pretty average for this point of August. Low 90s tomorrow, but heat index values will return to the probably upper 90s. Heat index values in the triple digits Wednesday, Thursday with air temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. Temperatures gradually will drop a little bit over the weekend. First day of September will be Sunday. Small chance for a little bit of rain, but those temperatures will be cooling off just a touch. Myrtle Beach forecast over the weekend, mid 80s with a small chance rain on Sunday. Charleston, maybe a few showers on Saturday, partly cloudy conditions on Sunday. And then as we do look towards Greenville, chance for some showers and storms over the weekend with those highs, upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Near normal temperatures for the majority of South Carolina in our 8 to 14 day outlook. That would be September 2nd through September 8th with slightly warmer than normal conditions for the low country. And we do expect slightly wetter than normal conditions during that same time frame. College football, at least South Carolina Clemson, only five days away. Labor Day is a week from today. So next week at this time, many of you will be enjoying the Labor Day holiday. And as always, you can follow me on these social media outlets. Have a great Monday.